there are plenty of examples of successful people uh, who either didn't go to uni or didn't finish uni. Sir Richard Branson left boarding school at 16 to start his own businesses like Virgin. Hollywood director Steven Spielberg dropped out of uni to hang around movie studios. Uh, even Aussie trucking magnate Lindsay Fox was asked to leave school during year 10 due to his lack of academic interest. Microsoft's Bill Gates left his Harvard studies so he could start up his computer giant. Winston Churchill was told he'd never amount to anything, etc, etc. Here's another name to add to the list, Jack DeLosa. This 24-year-old Aussie millionaire is an entrepreneur who's helping other young business people. And his company is in the fastest 50 startups. Good morning to you, Jack. Thanks for having me, Andrew. Appreciate Great it. to have you here. Now, you, you started a commerce degree, but you dropped out after, I think, six months. Yeah. Uh, why was that? Well, for me, you know, I think university is fantastic and if it suits your learning style and it's right for you, then, then that's great. For me, I found that the learning, uh, the sort of teaching methods were a little bit theoretical and mm -hmm. I sort of started to question where I was going to be able to apply it in the real world. Mm -hmm. I also had some mentors that at the time were more successful than anyone else I knew yep. and they hadn't finished high school, let alone sort of gone on to, to university. So I really started to question how appropriate was that path going to be for me? Indeed. Well, we've mentioned names like uh, Richard Branson, you know, Lindsay Fox, Bill Gates, etc. Some of them opportunity knocked, and some of them, as you say, just uh, weren't suited to the learning style. Do you think that uh, universities really need to have a good look at the way they teach? Yeah, well, I, I think university's great, and it's not only great, but for, for some fields it's necessary. So if you want to become an accountant or a lawyer or a doctor, mm you need that piece of paper. Mm. I think what people are starting to question is how effective is university in educating entrepreneurs? And that's, so that's what we've done some market research on. So we, we went to market and we asked the small business owners of Australia, you know, how effective was your university degree in preparing you for the business world? Uh, and on a scale of zero to 10, they came out with an average score of three out of 10. Yeah, right. So that highlighted a little bit of a gap in the education model. So in the absence then of a, uh, of a formal business training uh, through the degree or the diploma, yeah. uh, what would be your tips for young would-be entrepreneurs? Yeah, so I think the, the first tip, you know, if we were to condense it down into five tips, the first would be just do it. So yep. action precedes clarity. I think we see a lot of people out there trying to intellectualise it. Yep. You're going to learn the most when the rubber hits the road. So get yep. out there and start sure. something with low overheads. Mm -hmm. Number two is have mentors. Find people with being there, done that experience experience and leverage off their 20 or 30 years of experience. Yes. And I think that goes across the board, You're not just for entrepreneurs, but for in fact all Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, we talk a lot about intrapreneurship, you know, thinking like an entrepreneur within another organisation yeah. and it's something that anyone can do is go out and find a couple of mentors. Uh, thirdly is focus, focus, focus. You know, a lot of people look at the Virgins or the Bransons and I think he's involved in over 260 companies these days. Um, but what they don't realise is the first 10 years he had one company. Yeah. So initially, yeah. focus on your core business and, and don't spread yourself too thin. Fourthly, people, people, people. You know, you want a team who are smarter than you are. It's my aim to be the dumbest person in the room at all times, <laughs> which, uh, which luckily for me, Andrew, isn't that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Surround yourself by good people. What's the last one? Outside in. What's that mean? Outside in, we see a lot of entrepreneurs going to market with uh, business models based on their own assumptions. What we encourage, particularly early stage entrepreneurs who are just getting a feel for the market, go to market, get some consumer insights, ask your audience, your target market, what they want, mm. and then build a business model according to what your target market have told you they want. It's mm. a way to de-risk the strategy. I guess when you stand back and, and, and look at it, it stands to reason the market can teach you far more about business than uni ever can. That's right. Jack DeLosa, thanks very much for joining thanks us. Thanks for having me, Andrew. Appreciate it.